page two of the chapter five test. <coughs> so this says, to what power do you take two to get one sixteenth? Sixteen is two to the fourth. So one sixteenth is two to the negative four. So this is negative four times two, which is negative eight. E to the ln are just inverse operations and they uh, nullify each other and we get 0 0.35. And log base 10 and 10 are inverses of each other so we get just the power square root of 5. Eight is and four both have common in them a two, so we can call this two to the third to the two x plus one equals two to the second, that's what four is, to the two x. So since the bases are now both two, the powers must be equal. And when you get a power to a power, you multiply. So we get 6x plus 3 equals 2 times 2x is 4x. If I subtract 6x, I get 3 equals negative 2x. Divide by negative 2, and we get x equals negative 3 halves. This says, to what power do you take the square root of 3 to get x? You take 3 to the square root of 3 to the fourth. To get x. But square root is the one-half power, so we have 3 to the one-half to the fourth equals x. You multiply powers, and so we get 3 squared is x, and 3 squared is 9. All right, we got logs on both sides, so if we can get uh, get this, so it's a single log, not two times. So we move the two up, and we get x squared over here, and then the log on both sides. So we can ten take if both sides are equal. I can take ten to the same power, and they would still be equal, and that cancels the logs, and so I get seven x minus twelve equals x squared. I recognize this is a quadratic and so I make it equal to zero by moving, subtracting 7x from both sides and adding 12 to both sides. That factors, or we could use the quadratic formula a bunch of different ways, but uh, that'd be x minus 3, x minus 4, so x equals 3 or 4. Now, in the original equation, uh, 4 would be 28 minus 12 and 16. 28 minus 12 is 16. And this x4 squared is 16. So that would be OK. We'd have the log of 16 equals log of 16. 3. 3 times 7 is 21 minus 12 is 9 and 3 squared is 9, so both answers work. So you need to show the check on that. Okay, this one, we have unlike bases, so we're going to change, do a change of base. Um, you guys like base 10, so I'm going to do that. So 5 is 10 to the log 5. 2 is 10 to the log 2. And that's to the x plus 1. And 3 is 10 to the log 3. And that's to the x. Now if I put these together, I get uh, I have to add the power. So I get... Um, 10 to the log 5 plus uh, log 2 
2 times the quantity x plus 1, power to power you multiply, equals x times the log of 3, and 10 to that. And so they both would be to the 10, so I can drop the 10s. And so now I have log 5 plus log 2 times the x plus 1, which is log of 2 times x and log 2 times 1. And I want to get all the x's on the same side, so I'm going to subtract log 2 times x from both sides. And so I'm going to have log 5, log 2 times 1 is plus log 2 equals x log 3, and then I'm subtracting a x log 2. And now I can factor out the x, and I'll have log 3 minus log 2 equals log 5 plus log 2. And I'm going to divide both sides by that, but I'm also going to do a little uh, um, sum and product rules. This would be log 5 plus log 2 turns into log of 10. Because adding, you multiply them. And log of 10 is just, to what power do I take 10 to get 10? That's 1. And then this is going to be log of uh, 3 minus, so that would be 3 divided by 2. So my answer is 1 over log of 3 over 2. Now I could actually uh, take this to the minus 1, that would be um, uh, uh, be 2 over 3 because the negative would flip it and I could put the negative in front and it could become negative log of 2 divided by 3. But you could have left it over here um, log 5 plus log 2 divided by log 3 minus log Two. Okay. Any of these would be okay answers. Okay. That's page two.